welcome back to Inside Guelph. We have your city update, Mayor Farbridge, joining me right now. Good to see you and thanks for being here. My pleasure. I know we have a lot to cover usually when you're here yeah. and you wanted to start with the corporate strategic plan. Sure. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. What's happening? Yeah. I mean, for, you know, for a lot of people, yeah. um, this type of work that goes on in the background at City Hall is like, you know, maybe a bit of a yawn or something, <laughs> but, um, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff is important. The garbage gets picked up and the water keeps flowing and it's clean and it's safe and and all of that is uh, you know a big part of our quality of life and keeping that city running in that way but to make sure that we can continue to do that and continue to do that well and that we have we recruit the right talent to our city to do that um, we need to every now and then take stock of you know where are we at um, what are the challenges that we're currently seeing in our community? What are some of the trends? Um, where do we see things going in the future? So we, you know, we look, you know, we do some research. We look at what the province is telling, the federal government is telling us in terms of the economic outlook. Um, you know, where are the, the threats that we might have as a community? Where are our opportunities? Looking internally, where are we strong? Where we may need to strengthen? So that's really what it's all about. And, and just making sure that we have what we have in place um, that can take us into the future um, and prepare for the future. And so that's corporate strategic plan. Well, that's really what it's really about. Is how, how is do that we just prepare? an ongoing thing, though? I mean, are you having? You must be having to do that at all times. We do all it this on a, you know, it's, it's a cycle that in the past has been based with a council term. Mm. We're cracking out of that because you know things don't start and end with a mm. council term. It always it flows across. We're implementing things that three or four councils ago could have started. Mm. So, so now we're sort of cracking out of that, but it's usually like about a five-year cycle. Um, and most organizations, if they're really thinking about the future and how to remain, how to remain relevant to who they serve and to yeah. do a good job, you have to take a look at that. And so, over the last year and a half, we've been doing that work, and finally, it's sort of distilled together into a strategic framework. And I noticed just out in your lobby, you have one up there for Rogers yeah. and the strategic goal, the vision and yep. the values and the mission of Rogers and what are the strategic uh, directions for the yeah. organization exactly for us to okay. make sure that we stay a really vibrant community, that our local economy is strong, that it's a healthy environment, that there are the social and, and health and community supports and needs for people to be well in our community. So. No, so a it's a lot. It's so, a lot. Yeah. So it isn't necessarily just every now and then updating. I mean, this is like hard planning that you're looking into years and years yeah. ahead. Yeah. And okay. I think th because things move so fast today mm -hmm. and there's a lot of change, um, it's almost like it's relentless strategic Well, that's what I'm planning. saying. It almost feels it's like it would constant, just be constant. Yeah. And constant updating and constant checking yeah. in. Are we going in the right place? Because the economy can change very quickly. Um, so, you know, one year, you know, you're, you've got a great strategy you're moving forward, but the economy can be doing something very different the next year. And you've got to say, is this the right, are we doing the right thing? Mm -hmm. So do we need to readjust mm -hmm. to reflect what's going on? Yeah, so we yeah. have to be the organic process. I would think that you might come under a lot of fire when you have a plan in place. And then, like you say, things change and that yeah. plan doesn't work. So it's your job, obviously, yeah. to make sure you make those adjustments. Yeah. And where can we, um, as Guelphites, find more information about that? On the website. Okay. Um, it's it's getting all put up on online so that you can start to see that okay, and, and see that work and um, you know one of the major trends for instance just to sort of focus in on one area is um, we're aging as a community 13% mm -hmm. of our community are 55 plus um, that's expected to maybe even double in the next number of years um, so we've got one of the key priorities is our older adult strategy to make sure that we're age ready and we're an age friendly community um, right. as, as that demographic change has happens in our community. We don't want to get 10 or 15 years down the road and realize, oh, we haven't got the things in place to mm. respond to um, a senior population. So no. we need to start now. Hap yeah, yeah, it has to happen right yeah. now. Were yeah. you, and uh, this is such a complete change of direction, but were you at the party that we were talking about? Yes, I was. Street? It was really quite something. It was quite the evening. Yeah. I know, I thought that was really wonderful that something yeah. came together and they're all age groups and yeah. everyone out and enjoying that beautiful splash yeah. pad. Yeah, the dance was very beautiful. And then when, when all of a sudden it's turned into a snowball, and everyone realized who was watching 
that they could go in and dance That's too. So it's like everyone emptied off the sides and jumped into the middle of the pool. And, and there were little kids on the edge that parents were holding back <laughs> because the water started <laughs> to flow into it um, and they wanted in. And so the kids, oh, sure. they were being held back. But the second they were released, there was little toddlers, there were oh, yeah. seniors, there was teenagers. There was. Yeah. I felt like that was such a beautiful snapshot. I would think for you and for the council who worked hard getting this going, as I know Guelph fights and, you know, I can't take forever to list everyone who was responsible for putting it there, but a wonderful snapshot of how the community needed that and is yeah. using it. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess, I, you know, to me, it's very symbolic of Guelph that our city hall, mm -hmm. the space outside of it is about people. Yeah. So how many city halls, you know, look pretty, but you don't feel like you can be part of that, right? Yeah. And there was never any question that you could get into this into this water feature. No. Never any question. No, it's busy. Yeah. And I just happened to be there for lunch that day. And it's busy. It's busy all the time. So that's yeah. really well done. I want to wish you a great summer. Yes, you too. Uh, this wraps up our last city update with you on Inside Guelph. So we look forward to speaking to you in the fall. Yeah. Okay. Lovely to have you. Uh, and get down into that splash pad if you haven't been there. It's so much fun. That wraps up our show today. On tomorrow, we have your dog to pet segment. I hear rumors of a puppy being on set. I hope that is true. We'll see you back here tomorrow.